Do you know that you can use social media for your business and promote and get sales? Now, we are interested to know. In today's video, I'm going to share how do you use Facebook for business in Malaysia? I have been using Facebook to promote my small business for the last few years. And every time when we promote, we have, have sales, right? So there are two ways how to use Facebook to promote your product or your business. First is, of course, the free method. And second is the paid method. Now, what's the difference between free and paid method? Yeah. Now, if you know free method means that you got to do more work to attract the prospect or your potential customers, and it takes usually takes longer time frame and more effort. Now, I personally like the paid method because it gives you results like right away because I want to know that my promotion, my products, if you have watched my previous video on how to use social media to promote your business, if you're not, you can watch it right over here. Now I'll talk about MVP, most viable products, right? So when we create a most viable product, we want to test and see the acceptance of the market. So I want to know pretty fast how the people respond to my product. Are they happy? Are they not happy? If they're happy, what do they like? If not happy, what they don't like? So that I can improve on my product and mass launch it. So I love paid Facebook ads, right? Ads means that advertising, right? Because Facebook can find the people that I want to target very fast rather than I do it the manual way, which is the free method. So there are free and paid method. So it depends on your budget. So once you decide what method you want, then the next thing is that before you start doing or using Facebook to promote, you need to understand your customer buying journey. Customer buying journey means that how does the customer buy your products? Let's say, for example, if I am selling uh, fitness supplements, so first thing that I need to know or I need to reverse engineer, how do I select or finally buy this so-called fitness or healthy supplements? Yeah. So first, how do I know these brands? So there is a customer journey. Some product customer journey is short. Some customer uh, journey is pretty long. Yeah? So let's say, for example, if I'm selling a product or a software that costs like million dollars or hundred over thousands right, to a company, it may take a long time, sometimes like six months because they need to evaluate, they need to test. So there's a lot of things to do. Yeah? So, and sometimes I've tried we sold the software, it took like one year plus to sell that software, yeah? So the customer journey is long, but there is a customer journey, yeah? Meaning that how does people know about your brand, your business, then what are things that they consider? So all these are the process of how customers get to know your business, your brand, until they buy your products and continue to buy. This is what I call a customer journey. So if you understand this whole customer buying process, then it is easy for you to craft out a social media strategy to target your customers. Here's what we do, right? These are the three steps. Yeah, you, you want to use a Facebook to promote your product or business. So first thing is that you need to have a Facebook page because the Facebook page is where you can do your advertisement and attract customers. So create your Facebook page. Now, if you do not know how to create your Facebook page, here's a video that I've done yeah, a couple of months ago that can help you create your Facebook page. Just follow it step-by-step step and you can do it. So once you have your Facebook page, second step is to create values, right? Contents, uh, cheat sheet, eBooks. What are things that you think will help your customers, even like free training. Let's say if you are selling like, for example, wellness supplements, you can give out like free exercise training to attract people, right? Then later on, only you will educate them and promote them about your products, right? So this is the second step, yeah? To give value 
and educate them. And the third step, of course, is promote to them through your education, through your value. Yeah. And remember to have a call to action. Doesn't mean that you always give like value, 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 and then doesn't ask them to take actions. So you need to give call to actions like promotions. Sometimes you got like special coupons. Get them to take action to try your products. This is roughly how you can use a Facebook to promote your business. So if you're interested in using social media or online business marketing, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell because we publish weekly content so that when you turn on the notification bell, you will be notified. And meanwhile, here's some other videos that I created for you.